talk about how the Eversor assassin is basically a one-man apocalypse. And they're so unbelievably dangerous that they're literally locked up in stasis when not on a mission. And out of the six different classes of assassin, they are by far the most brutal. As unlike other types of assassins, an Eversor is rarely ever given a single target. Instead, they'll be deployed behind enemy lines and be tasked with wreaking as much carnage as humanly possible. These psychos will sometimes massacre entire organizations. And anyone who witnesses the horrible aftermath will be too horrified to start the cult back up. They're given a potent battle stem that causes them to enter a psychotic rage. And although this chemical boosts their power considerably, it makes them an unpredictable threat to their allies as well. Not to mention the withdrawals can be deadly to them. So between missions, they're placed in stasis. And whenever their services are needed, they're loaded into a drop pod while still asleep. And then all relevant mission information is downloaded directly into their brain. They then launch near the vicinity of their target and awaken by the time they hit the ground. To them, only seconds pass between missions, which means their entire existence is death and carnage. 